Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to more Metroid Fusion. I'm Sire Goku, and we're going to be finishing up the rest of Sector 6 in this video. Which won't take very long at all, because all we need to really do is go into the next room, <laughs> and we'll be pretty much at the end. Going through here, we find this wall and... Oh, sheesh. Great. <laughs> Voice acting in a Game Boy Advance game. And it's actually really well done. <laughs> Although repetitive as all heck. <laughs> I get it. No entry without authorization. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be hearing that for a while. But for doing... But now we just have to go back. <laughs> Which seems kind of redundant. You can act, you can go back and save because we are going to be fighting a boss. Uh, speak of the devil, right there. <laughs> Big explosion. And we go back. Well, not exactly this room, but the next room over. Yeah, that security robot that we fought a long time ago is back. <laughs> Not in there, past me, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, for a little bit here I get kind of sidetracked. Trying to remember exactly which way back, even though I came from the right room. Uh, like, past me, why are you back here? You can't go there yet. <laughs> Can you not hear them saying no entry without authorization? We're not authorized to go in there. I am wasting too much time here to go up past me, go up. It's really not that hard for some reason. You know, when you record, you get you get stupid when you record. I don't know why. <laughs> you do something thousands of times, but then when you record it suddenly, bam, you're bad at it. I don't know how that works. It just does. There, was that so hard past me? Just go in the door. There we go. Now immediately drop a power bomb because otherwise you can't win this fight. By by dropping a power bomb, you can you can get the you can get that grappling point. Cuz if you're in the water, you're going to get electrocuted constantly. So the only safe spot, the only safe spot would be right next to the front door. We right next to the door and you won't be able to hit the boss from there. This can be frustrating since you have to spend the entire fight on that conveyor belt. However, there's a few different things you can do. Well, for one, the security robot's jump is pretty much undodgeable if it decides to jump into you. But if it shoots missiles, you can take it out rather easily. There is a way, if you're fast enough, to basically just have it spam missiles the entire fight, making it a lot easier for you to get shots on it. Personally, I'm doing a terrible job at attacking this thing. But what you're gonna want, the best thing you're gonna want to do is take out the missiles as soon as they fire it, and then aim your and then aim your missiles diagonally. Most of the time, you'll hit him. But I'm having a bad, I'm having a hard time doing that, I guess. Thankfully, though, because it's the diffusion missiles, you can take it out much faster than normal. <laughs> and as per usual, if you did take too many hits like I did, you can take this time to heal up a little bit. I was honestly kind of concerned that I was going to die, <laughs> but then I managed to get a whole bunch of HP. So... <laughs> So I just fight it like any other X-Parasite, and you'll be fine. <laughs> and for defeating the Century Robot, you finally have the Wave Beam. And just like the wave, just like in every Metroid game since the first game, the Wave Beam allows you to shoot through walls. Any time now, past me. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, now that we have the wave beam, we can get through these doorways and finally get this missile tank that was 
you know, taunting us for so long. With that, we've gotten pretty much every upgrade we need in order to be... Almost every upgrade we need in order to finish the game. There's only one more upgrade we need to get, and we're going to go get it right now. But now that... So now we got to get out of Sector 6, because they know we're in here. <laughs> they know we're here. Part of me wishes sometimes that this game acted a little more like Metroid Prime, where you can use your charge shot to pull in energy. That would be nice, if your charge shot could pull in X parasites so you could heal yourself faster. <laughs> it's not needed, but... It would be nice. Anyway, now that we have the wave beam, we can just run through this hallway. And now we're in the restricted zone. Rest Welcome to the last main section of the game. <laughs> and apparently there's a... Laboratory full of Metroids. They're making Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Omega Metroids. You know all those retro you know all those Metroids that we kind of killed in Metroid 2 Return of Samus? Yeah, they're kind of cultivating them. And the SAX is trying to fight them. And we have an escape sequence. We have 60 seconds to jump out of here. <laughs> That's more than enough time. The Metroids don't even attack you, they just kind of impede your progress. If it takes you 60 seconds to hop out of there, uh, you're probably just not trying hard enough. But yeah, so half of the BSL station just kind of exploded. Adam, you kind of want to explain to us about the... Uh, Shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. Adam, you want to explain to me about the, uh... The, uh, Metroids you're kind of making? Or hiding on this station? May have to pay a price for this later. Not sure Samus cares about that. <laughs> As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on... A Metroid breeding system, Metroid breeding program. Yeah, like that's not. Yeah, because that's not gonna backfire anytime soon. Peaceful applications. Yes, yes, peaceful applications. I'm sure. <laughs> So yeah, the so yeah, the Galactic Federation is a bunch of dicks. They go out and basically tell Samus that her job is to kill a whole bunch of aliens before they decide to take over the universe. And what do they do? They pretty they pretty much say screw all that and now we're going to make our own Metroids with blackjack and hookers. So they're going to make Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and Omega Metroids on this space station. Jesus. <laughs> and they can make them evolve faster. <laughs> Creating an Omega from a larval Metroid in days. Gah. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Galactic Federation, they're the true villains of the Metroid series. Screw the Metroids and the Space Pirates, the Galactic Federation are assholes. But it turns out the reason they are crea the reason why they are making all these Metroids is to try and eliminate all the X parasites at once, including the SAX. But Uh, apparently there's more than one SAX. So 
So because the SA so because the X parasites breed asexually Now there's about ten Yeah <laughs> Yeah, apparently the BSL station now has ten SAX on board at once. So now we don't have to worry about just one, but nine other ones! Wonderful! Way to go, Galactic Federation! Way to go, you assholes! I don't know how HQ is going to take this. Uh, but you need to report to them immediately. Yeah, they're gonna be like, hey Samus, what the F were you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like, like the GF is gonna do squat here. <laughs> The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was, a, he was not a machine obsessed with his duties. Blah, blah. Uh, actually, Samus... <laughs> yeah, play Other M. <laughs> oh, well. Nothing against Other M, but Adam was an asshole in that game. Just saying. <laughs> If the Adam she was referring to actually was like the one she talks about in this game in Other M, I would believe that. But I've played Other M, so, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> so, basically, because the Galactic Federation are a bunch of dicks, now there's a bunch of SAX hidden on the spaceship. And they're not gonna care be because, up. Oh, Samus broke protocol, so <laughs> she's in trouble. Let's ignore the fact that the Federation is creating bioweapons that they can use against Metroids that could just go against humanity and kill everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> So, bas but, so basically, we have to report back about them, even though this is a stupidly horrible idea. <laughs> okay, let's just go and de let's just say yes to their let's make tons of Metroids that almost destroyed the galaxy plenty of times already. That's not a bad idea. Ugh. <laughs> But I'll get into more about my thoughts on the Galactic Federation in the end of this LP. Now, you could go back, but there are a few things we can do here before moving on. Such as using missiles to blow through this wall. I don't know why just that particular section of the wall is breakable, but... Yeah, and now that we have the wave beam, we can get through that door. <laughs> Actually, this, I think, is the way you're supposed to go. <laughs> I'm looking at my notes here, like, yeah, this is where I have to go. <laughs> Oops. Eh, not that it's a bad thing. Power bombs! And I was like, wait, no, I can't go this way. Because I need the screw attack, which I don't have yet. <laughs> so many things need the screw attack in order for you to progress to find other items. Oh man. <laughs> you know, and like Samus, you shouldn't have done it. Samus is doing the right thing. Without even realizing that the Federation is creating genetic Metroids on this space station, she's been blowing up parts of the space station. This. <laughs> this space station needs to be destroyed anyway because they're cultivating freaking space aliens on it. This is sick. This freaking space station was doomed from the start. I mean, what's. They're breeding all these Metroids, and what are the first thing they're gonna do when they hatch them? They're gonna destroy everything!
Oh well. And because I'm being stupid and taking... Well, I don't know why I keep going back here. I'm sorry. I'm like, I was just here, and we need more... Actually, no, that wasn't where I was just was, but still. It's like, eh. Eh. But this, this brings up a point that I want to bring up, even though I'll go a little more into it in my final thoughts. Is the, the, this game's plot is pretty cool in a way. I mean, considering Metroid has never really... At least until Fusion... or No, I'm sorry, this is Fusion. I mean, at least until Prime, Metroid never really had a coherent story. It was more just like, eh, space aliens want to, want to destroy planets. Your job is to stop them before they destroy the universe, okay? This game actually tries to flesh out the story a little bit by giving Samus some backstory about, you know, working as a bounty hunter. <laughs> Granted, it leads into her questioning the motives of said bounty hunters that she's hired from, but hey, that's still something. Samus isn't just gonna sit there and take orders if she doesn't think that it's right. She's gonna be like, hey, I don't like that idea. And then she finds out, well, you're making things even worse. She's gonna be like, man, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> this is a bad idea, and you're idiots. <laughs> also, this Golden Space Pirate sucks. They're just like the gold. They're just like the gold space pirates from Super Metroid, where they have really high defense. But if you just spam the charge beam, they'll eventually go down. Or you can use missiles. That works too. Now let's see. Was there anything in here? Nope. Just a save room. We're coming up to a boss. We're coming up to another boss very, very soon. Not just any boss. Though, a very familiar boss that they've been, you know, foreshadowing for quite a while. And any major fan of Metroid already knows who that is because this, because he's been in every Metroid game. Except Metroid 2 Return of Samus, but <laughs> still. <laughs> and more gold space pirates. Thankfully, thankfully the freaking wave beam and plasma beam are just freaking amazing. Also, something interesting to note: no spacer beam in this game, huh? Anyway, boss door. And it's Ridley, or the parasitic recreation of the cor the parasitic corpse of the clone of the original Ridley. I don't know, <laughs> but this is Ridley, and he's really big and really easy. He spends most of the battle just kind of floating around like an idiot. And you can just stand in this one corner and just spam fusion missiles on him. At least that's what I did. Also, uh, he is extremely loud. I apologize for that. <laughs> Anyone that's played this on the original Game Boy Advance, I wouldn't be surprised if your speakers are kind of shot at this point, because he just... he is so loud. <laughs> As usual, he can grab onto you, or he can pogo off his tail, or he can just be a bitch and die real fast. Yeah, for being... For being the most intimidating looking boss in the game, Ridley is a pushover. <laughs> Especially compared to his Super Metroid version. <laughs> like... You shouldn't be able to just stand there and spam missiles on a boss until it dies. That just shows how bad a boss design it is. But for defeating the new, the recreated Ridley, we get the screw attack. The last upgrade in the game, and which gives us the ability to fly and destroy everything in our path. <laughs> just like, just like Super Metroid. And Metroid Prime. 
Although I think it's—I don't think you get the screw. Wait, no, you don't get the screw attack until s you don't get the screw attack until Prime Two. Never mind. <laughs> but now we can actually kill those en those floating enemies, which I don't know the name of. I, I apologize for not knowing the name. But now that we have the screw attack, we've done everything we can possibly do. Aside from item collecting, we can go and finish the game right now if we wanted. We have to go talk to Adam and go, hey, and let Adam know what a stupid idea it is to just destroy the space count to, you know, create a whole bunch of Metroids. But hey, there's more to that. So, next time on Metroid Fusion, it's the finale.